All right, all right Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, I want to start by giving all praises and glory to you, to the Heavenly Father. And it's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Basham, Yahshai, Basham, Rukakodash. Double honors to my apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the brothers that's doing this work, truth and sincerity. Now, this lesson is going to be just the brother Batak coming at you again in the through the spirit and inspiration of Yahweh, Basham, Yahshai. This uh, lesson is going to be uh, inspired. By you know future prophecy, which is in the book of Isaiah chapter 63. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Isaiah 62, 62, like it. Uh, verse one. It says, "For Zion's sake will I not hold my peace, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness, and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth." Because the Lord said He's not going to rest until uh, we are basically in rulership and and pushing that righteousness throughout all the earth. Cause that's the that's the fulfillment of his will, you know. He wants Zion, you know, the nation of Israel, to be in control of the world, so um, <clears throat> we can push that righteousness and push that salvation. You know, the salvation is talking about when we get delivered out of the, uh, this captivity, man. You know, and everybody's gonna see our deliverance because once we get salvation, then we know for for a fact that we're we're ruling. You know, we're going into our kingdom. Verse two. And the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness, and all kings thy glory. And thou shalt be called by a new name, which the mouth of Yahweh shall name. And the Gentiles gonna see our righteousness, and they're gonna be, they're gonna want to partake. You know, they're gonna um. Actually, I'm just let the scriptures talk, man. You know, I'm gonna go to the book of Isaiah chapter two, real quick. Isaiah chapter 2 verse 2 it says And it shall come to pass in the last days That the mountain of Yahweh's house shall be established In the top of the mountains And shall be exalted above the hills And all nations shall flow into it And many peoples, and many people shall go and say Come ye and let us go up to the mountain of Yahweh To the house of the God of Jacob And he will teach us his way of Teach us of his ways And we will walk in his paths For out of Zion shall go forth the law And out of the, and the word of Yahweh from Jerusalem so that right there proves, um, backs up what Isaiah chapter 62 said. Because all nations are going to flock to uh, to uh, Jerusalem. You know, they're going to want to follow after the law, statutes, commandments. I can also get another scripture that says the same thing in the book of uh, Zechariah. I believe it's Zechariah. Let me search it real quick. Straight Jew. Yep, Zechariah 8 and 23. It says, Thus said Yahweh of hosts, in those days it shall come to pass that ten men shall take out of take hold of all languages of the nations, even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew, saying, We will go with you, but we have heard that the most high is with you. Right? Cause we're gonna be in we're we gonna be in our power. We're gonna be in the kingdom. We're gonna be blessed. These heathens, they gonna flock to us, man. Like flies to shit. Verse three. Thou shalt also be a crown of glory in the hand of Yahweh and a royal diadem in the hand of thy God because the Lord is going to make the feet place of his feet glorious like he said Isaiah 16 and 13 it says the glory of Lebanon shall be shall come unto thee the fig tree the pine tree and the box together to beautify the place of my sanctuary I will make the place of my feet glorious Right He's gonna Man we're gonna be so decked out man You know This is a future prophecy We're gonna be so decked out With all types of Royal You know Diadems And all types of Jewelry stem, Stones You know You name it man We're gonna have the best of the best of everything And we're gonna be glorious in our kingdom under Yahweh shall verse 4 Thou shalt no more be termed forsaken Neither shall thy land any more be, de be termed desolate Because a part of the curses was the Lord, the Lord made our land desolate But thou shalt be called Hephazba If I'm saying that right Hef Hephazba And thy land Beulah For Yahweh delighteth in thee And thy land shall be married Because we're going to be married back to our land That's what those terms mean you know, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Hephazba means uh, delight, delighted, and Beulah means uh, married. Because we're going to be uh, married back to our land, man. Joined back to our uh, our land. For as the young man marrieth the virgin, so shall thy sons marry thee. As, 
as the bridegroom rejoices over the bride, so shall thy God rejoice over thee. And the Lord is going to be, uh, Scripture says, the Lord is going to rejoice over us, man. Because his will is going to be fulfilled, man. You know, the, the Lord's will is going to be fulfilled in our kingdom. His righteousness is going to go forth. Everybody's going to know about the nation of Israel. I just want to fact check, fact check something real quick. Okay, as far as I'm... Yeah, it says, my delight is in her. So, Hafazbar means delight, and Beulah means to be master, to marry, yep. So, just wanted to fact check that real quick. Okay, uh, verse 6, I was, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace, day nor night. Ye that make mention of Yahweh, keep not silence, and give him no rest till he established, until he made Jerusalem a praise in the earth. And that's what that's what we're looking forward to, being a praise in the earth. Yahweh has sworn by, by his right hand and by the arm of his strength, surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thine enemies, because that was a part of the curses. We plant it, we plant, and somebody else gonna eat the eat the fruit thereof. We plant a vineyard, somebody gonna drink the, vin, the, the wine thereof. And the sons of thy strangers shall no more drink thy wine for which thou hast labored. Right, that's, that goes back to the... um. Uh, curses in Deuteronomy chapter 28 um, It says verse 9 But they that have gathered it Shall eat it and praise Yahweh And they that have brought it together Shall drink it in my In the courts of my holiness Go through go through the gates Prepare ye the way of the people get, Cast up cast up the highway Gather out all the stones Lift up the standard for the people Behold Yahweh hath proclaimed unto the end of the world Say ye to the daughter of Zion Behold thy salvation cometh Behold his reward is with him And his works before him And they shall call them the land The holy people The redeemed of Yahweh And thou shalt be called Sought out a city not forsaken Because we gonna constantly have people Flocking to the, our city man The scripture says in Isaiah chapter 60 Thy gates shall be opened continually you know, because bring in the forces of the Gentile. The forces talking about the their riches, their wealth. You know, because uh, we we've been turned forsaken, you know, and mistreated, and the Lord is gonna uh, turn everything right in His rightful place. You know, we're not gonna be forsaken anymore. We're not gonna be termed. Um, we're not gonna be termed uh, forsaken, or you know, we're not, we're forever gonna be with our God, man. We're never going to be apart. We're going to be married back to y'all by Shemel Shah forever, man. And we're never going to depart away. So um, with that, I'm going to just say um, this is a quick let's do the spirit. You know, thinking about something in the future prophecy, man. It's going to be beautiful.